What's up guys, NBA Talk, the aftermath of the Golden State Warriors versus the Houston Rockets game one in Houston. Big time battle between these two Titans going at it. Offensive game, like, like I said, like they were going to put it down offensively. It comes down to the individual plays, who's going to step up, who's going to come in in the right moments. And Golden State Warriors were more consistent. They were ready. Like, no matter how many times the Houston Rockets hit them, they were ready to explode. They were ready to hit back hard. And they just throw jabs, just throw haymakers. Like, they are on a consistent roll at any given moment. That's one of the biggest things about the Golden State Warriors. And it was the case tonight. Um, Golden State Warriors winning game one on the road. 119 to 106. Um, Cameron Durant was the big man. And I was no surprise. It was no surprise at all to me. Because I felt like Trevor Reza is not going to stop this dude. And he really proved me right. Like he could not stop this man. Um, and also Cameron Durant has the luxury of having so many mismatches in this game. Like... <laughs> It was ridiculous. Like his height is a real good factor for him. He was killing it all over the place in transition, in the post, the mid shot, the three point shot. Um, he, he was just doing a lot. He got a lot of good um, matchups with Clint Capella, which I'm about to get to him in a sec. Um, he just shooting all over him, like bringing him a little bit up towards the perimeter. And just scoring on him. And then you got P.J. Tucker, which, once again, Kevin Durant has the height. And just killing them. He's just killing everybody in sight. The most consistent guy on the court for the Golden State Warriors all night. Like, he was just killing it. Um, Stephen Curry was fantastic. Well, it, it took a while because he was definitely getting locked up a couple times in this game. But he started to to get things through, and he was making good plays down, like in the third quarter, in the fourth. He was just making absolutely good plays, only turning the ball over once. That's it. It, it was very fantastic what Stephen Curry did in the second half. Clay Thompson as well, like he was making the good shots, all those opportunities, all those runs. Klay Thompson was the guy making those big time shots and he was just doing it all over the place. Um, there were times where he was left open and you're just wondering who's guarding this dude. Draymond Green, he, he was fearless. Um, he he kind of yapped his mouth a little bit too much. He kind of got over exertive with his stuff, a little over physical. He got a lot of calls against him. Um, especially early on in the game, but he was he was definitely effective. He was way more effective than um, Clint Capella, who once again I'm about to talk about him because he's been the X factor that I've been wanting to see for the Rockets, and we didn't see that tonight. Uh, Andre Iguodala, he was good at some moments. He was he didn't really have that much of an impact other than getting to the free throw line, but not that much. Uh, the bench, you got some good things going on. Uh, Nick Young and um, Sean Livingston doing some good things. And that's pretty much it to say. Um, Kevin Durant led the team with 37 points, 3 rebounds. He was 14 from 27 from the field. Stephen Curry, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, 8 for 15 from the field. Um, and Klay Thompson with 28 points. Four rebounds, two assists. He he made six three pointers. Um, took a lot of them. Fifteen. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, Andre Godala with eleven points, two steals. Draymond Green with nine points. Well, no, no, no. Nine rebounds, nine assists, five points. Two block shots and two steals. Uh, he needs to calm down a little bit. He has the energy. He can outplay a lot of these people. He outplayed Clint Capella. Uh, really, it was a good job for this team. Um, 
52% from the field, 37 rebounds, 24 assists, and only 9 turnovers tonight. The Rockets, uh, James Harden. Like, the ridicule he got from last year, you ain't seen that today. Like, he, he, he showed up. He definitely showed up tonight. 41 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. He was making a lot of good looks uh, in this game. Like, he really kept it going for the Rockets tonight. 14 from 24 from the field, 5 for 9 for the 3. Chris Paul, it took him a while to get into the game because he was definitely struggling in some areas, especially the um, passing. Like, he wasn't turning the ball over. Like, James Harden was kind of turning the ball over a couple of times because Stephen Curry, he, he could play defense, surprisingly. Um, Chris Paul, like, it took him a while to get himself trying to pass everybody. Um... He, he definitely was doing some good things over the course of the game. It's just like he felt like he was trapped. Like he didn't really really get himself into this game until later on into like the third or fourth quarter. Like late in the third and in the fourth quarter where he started to get things going. But I feel like it's already too late like to get himself going. Like everybody already understands you. Everybody already puts you out of this equation sort of Clint Capella 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Oh, by the way, um if I if I didn't say anything, 23 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists for Chris Paul. Uh Clint Capella with 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 block shots. He got canceled out in a big way because I never realized the lineup that the Golden State Warriors have really with Andre Godala in there. It, it made a lot more sense why the Golden State Warriors are like, superior now. Because it really canceled out like having Clint Capella come into the perimeter, take him away from the rebounding, take him away from the in interior defense where he's good at. There's, there's no one really to guard in the paint. Because everybody's outside the three-point line. Draymond Green, Andre Godala, Chris, um, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, all at the three and all at once. Like, who's the guard down low? Like, you have to guard these guys at the perimeter, and that's what kills him. And it killed him tonight, going up against um, Kevin Durant. It was tough for him. Guarding against... Um, who else? Who else he guarded? Uh, I, I don't remember who. Uh, but he definitely got canceled out. Like, I would thought they would have used um, JaVale McGee, Zaza Bikilia, but no. They understood who they facing. And they, they got that done. Trevor Reza. <sighs> he is done, in my opinion. Like, I f he hasn't been good all playoffs, all season long, in my opinion. Eight points. He had five personal fouls. He was just, he was just in foul trouble all night. And I think it didn't really matter because Kevin Durant is just a very superior guy. Like, the defense of Trevor Reza is no longer what it used to be when he first came to Rockets. If they had him... I'll be very even more disappointed, but I I'm not that surprised. But still, it's hard to watch. Like Trevor Reza, I I'd rather have somebody else in there than Trevor Reza. But I will give him one more chance. P.J. Tucker got outplayed tonight by everybody. Everybody tonight got played him. Played him, boy. 15 points from Eric Gordon, like he was a sleeper for t uh, for tonight. He definitely struggled in this game, but he definitely had his moments. Um, the team overall had 45% from the field, 42 rebounds, 18 assists, 13 turnovers. Got to cut those turnovers down. Um, they just need to get themselves going as a unit, really. Um, it can't be just James Harden and Chris Paul. Like I said, it's, it's going to take more than that. Because you're dealing with three 
powerful scorers for the Golden State Warriors and they're a top five defensive team and they're one of the best passing teams in the league and you're lucky you held them down to 24 so that's it game one uh, Golden State Warriors did a whole bunch of stuff like mismatches were a big key tonight like they just pretty much had the right positions they just had the right players to go up against the Rockets tonight. And they were more consistent. So that's it. Peace.